Caveman's second album, 1994's Crooked Rain, Crooked Rain, turned the once notoriously lo-fi band into something bigger and more accessible, and simultaneously affirmed frontman Stephen Malkmus as one of the preeminent songwriters of his generation. Titled in homage to Prince's Purple Rain, Pavement's sophomore full-length sold better and charted higher than its predecessor. But Crooked Rain was no sellout. Pavement's music was still loose and unpolished, and Malkmus's lyrics remain enigmatic and swaggeringly playful, a singular and self-aware voice at the center of what became an instant indie classic. The album opening Silence Kit begins with the kind of rough rambling for which Pavement was known, taking a half minute to feel their way into the song. Its off-kilter charm came from Pavement's proudly amateurish methods. Even though their first album, 1992's Slanted and Enchanted, had sold 100,000 copies, its follow-up was recorded cheaply, with no oversight from the band's label, Matador. Pavement would show up around noon at a homemade studio in engineer Mark Venezia's Manhattan apartment, borrowing gear from a second-hand instrument shop downstairs. First and second takes were often deemed keepers, and the final product took just a few days to record. Co-founder Scott Canberg, a.k.a. Spiral Stairs, noted, We lived with our mistakes. We just kind of had that whole punk rock attitude of doing a song and letting it be what it is. Pavement's rejection of professionalism fueled Crooked Rain, Crooked Rain's first single, Cut Your Hair, which became a kind of indie rock anthem. Over a swinging melody and half-serious backing vocals, Malkmus parodies the music industry's emphasis on looks and chops and the rabid search for the next big band. This audible disinterest in playing by rock's commercial rules struck a chord with Pavement's jaded Generation X peers, who identified with the band's vivid and often hilarious musical expression of opting out from the mainstream cultural malaise of the conservative 1980s. Advertising looks and chops a must no big hair! Songs mean a lot when songs are bought, and so are you. Face one! Even the beatific country rock tune Range Life is marked by biting words set to catchy melodies, a formula for almost every track. Here, Malkmus dreams of settling down before taking bitter shots at alternative nation poster boy bands Smashing Pumpkins and Stone Temple Pilots. Rumors circulated widely that Smashing Pumpkins were so upset that they blocked Pavement from joining the summer 1994 Lollapalooza tour, though the Pumpkins management denied it. Malkmus later claimed his jabs were also directed at himself, showing that Pavement could be just as petty and competitive as the music business they mocked. I want a range life If I could settle down If I could settle Despite such bitterness, Heaven is a Truck and many others possess a distinctly laid-back West Coast vibe, in obvious contrast to Pavement's previous distorted scrawl. The new sonic direction came in part because of their new rhythm section, former Dust Devils bassist Mark Eibald and drummer Steve West, who replaced the wild Gary Young, notorious for his drunken performances. Pavement's original, raw, post-punk sound, echoing British groups like The Fall and Swell Maps, persisted in Crooked Rain, Crooked Rain songs like Hit the Plane Down. Hanberg modeled that tune's synth-driven thrust after 70s groups The Stranglers and Devo. But on this album, Pavement's music nodded just as much toward the classic rock of California, where Malkmus and Hanberg grew up. Combining an inscrutable attitude with a laissez-faire musical approach, pavemen were often branded slackers, a common 90s epithet symbolized by the drifting outsiders in Richard Linklater's 1991 film of the same name. Typically elusive, Malkmus rejected any such classification, 
Our band really struggles to execute our songs as well as we can, he said. Usually we're really trying hard as we can to be entertaining. Matching fun, memorable music to Malkmus's utterly contemporary lyrics, Crooked Rain, Crooked Rain showcased a new kind of songwriting, a new way to both play and play with music, teasing at the conventions of rock and roll without ever giving into them. 